Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about best practices for IAM service. A very important practice is to enable MFA for all users. AWS recommends that you require multi-factor authentication for all users in your account. Rotate access keys regularly for use cases that require long-term credentials and rotate credentials regularly. It is recommended that you change your own passwords and access keys regularly and make sure that all IAM users in your account do as well. Safeguard your root user credentials and don't use them for everyday tasks. Don't share security credentials between accounts, use IAM roles instead. Don't share security credentials between accounts to allow users from another account to access resources in your account. Instead, use IAM roles. You can define a role that specifies what permissions the IAM users in the other account are allowed. You can also designate which AWS accounts IAM users are allowed to assume the role. Apply least privilege principles. What it means when you create IAM policies, grant the least privileges required to perform tasks. When you create IAM policies, follow the standard security advice of granting the least privileges. In other words, granting only the permissions required to perform tasks. Determine what users and roles need to do and then craft policies that allow them to perform only those tasks. In other words, start with a minimum set of permissions and grant additional permissions as necessary. Doing so is more secure than starting with permissions that are too lenient and then trying to tighten them later. <laughs>